Section 4.5 of SIP trunk troubleshooting. Here you're required to collect some traces from the RTMT and save the message into a SIP.txt file. Now we're going to use RTMT to collect some data and find out whether the uh, SIP trunk is using UDP protocol and if the delay offer is being used or not. Okay, so for this you we must create um, open RTMT. Because you're going to use RTMT twice, so you might as well have this bugger open and keep it open. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is go to call manager and enable trace for SIP trunk only. So we'll go to serviceability. So go to tools, sorry, it's trace, configuration. Go to CM service. Call manager. Now here we're going to dis disable all the traces except we're going to set detailed and then we're going to disable all of them. Now only problem way to disable is uncheck individually. So we're going to say enable SIP call processing and SIP stack. So it does give a warning that it can cause some extreme problem but hey this is a lab so what do you care. Uh, we will apply this to all the nodes so that way we don't, I don't have to do it on, this, um, on the published subscriber. Now once it's done I will go ahead and it should have collected all the SIP anyway so I will go ahead and try to collect the trace from Trace Central so go to Trace and Lock Central click on Remote Browse Click next, select call manager. You can just simply say finish. So it's telling us that remote browser is ready so we'll go ahead and go to the pub and they use SDI and look for the latest one so that is Sunday 18 we click on open expand it look for first invite message so here we scroll down now usually what I like to do is I like to deal, uh, you know enable trace um, settings first and then restart the call manager service and then try it so that it doesn't give me all the garbage that I really don't need okay so that did not work so let's see if we find anything on subscriber which is the last one okay this is too much traffic so I'm gonna go ahead and delete everything so while it's deleting the files some of the some of the files I don't need what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart the services 
so that it creates a new file based on only those two traces file delete complete I cannot delete the last file because the last file is in use until a new file is created so to create a new file you simply go to the call manager yeah 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 go to call manager and select the some of the few services to restart so I probably would try with restarting the call manager service ability with RTMT but most likely is this two is what you really need so I'll go ahead and try those so go to trace servlet restart and then I'll also restart this particular service right here so once this service let's try again so I'll just close this window and try remote browser trace call manager finish and we'll wait so the file is ready at least it says eighteen no that's the old file okay so as you can see the file is more new uh, look at the timestamp 1832 so I will go ahead and make another call before I open these two file on the PSTN make sure you answer the call so it shows the call is connected okay so what I'll do is I'll open this again for some reason my PSN phone especially this one probably uh, is causing some uh, headache so probably have to so I'll answer this call call is connected at this stage so I can verify all sorts of uh, activity in the SIP so once this is done I will refresh this I guess so you can say refresh it has to collect the data of course right so look at the timestamp 635 p.m. 634 so just a little slightly different so I'll go ahead and use a sub and see if I can capture any SIP information in this file I should not have too much detail but then again there are a lot of keep alives going on as you can see alright so what I'm looking at is invite so the first invite message that I need to look at probably at the bottom of the page okay there we go now it looks to start to look more like a zip message okay so somewhere you will notice here yeah, there's an invite message started right right from here and you'll notice it's telling us that outgoing SIP UDP message to 172 uh, 16.1.103 so that has confirmed so you, you, what you want to do is that you want to save probably somewhere up to here
and what you want to do is copy and then say feature one so that will verify that this is using UDP first of all now the important next feature we have to verify is the delay offer and in a delay offer what we have to look for is SDP session discovery message discovery protocol not message D. okay so we have to a little bit analyze this and look for SDP uh, traffic so content type application slash SDP so this section right here is what confirms that you have uh, uh, because in, in a SIP when the d when delay offer is being used that means that uh, the uh, message includes SDP, uh, SDP so that is that will confirm that it is using delay offer so as you can see right here so this will uh, uh, delay offer is is using uh, port uh, what port is using let's see believe is using port 4000 and PCM code uh, G okay so after you uh, take a snapshot uh, capture the packet you do a quick search by going to uh, this little uh, the text file and look for the first invite of course uh, it may be more more than one invite if you try multiple call so it's necess not necessarily the first invite but what you need to really capture let's say uh, if I use uh, an extension 2002 where I made the call from I made two calls from 2002 just to show you the difference uh, in your in your case the you might not have the privilege to make two different calls to two different number but I want to show you the difference in terms of what the message would look like so this is the first attempt that extension 2002 was trying to make a call as you can see uh, sorry not, that's not the first attempt my mistake go up a little bit right here this was the first attempt that I was trying to make as you can see it is called invite the first invite CS sequence 0101 invite uh, look at the length of the message. The last statement is called max forward 70 and then you have a bunch of other messages then the phone was trying as you can see and then back and forth messages from the service provider. So this invite message does not include uh, what we call is as uh, session discovery protocol mas uh, message. So if you go down until probably the next invite message which would be right here where the call is being invited again from extension 2002 but uh, this is no sorry this is session in progress so that's not what we're looking for so this is not either because this is acknowledgement I believe would be somewhere here yes right here this is the second time when I made the call now the first attempt when I made the call the number was different I chose I purposely chose uh, to use delay offer on this particular number right here and early offer I made it to this particular number so how did I make the early offer when I made the second call on my trunk I made sure the MTP is checked so in your case uh, in the lab you do not have you, sh you should not have this check so when you have media media termination point check your message will be a little longer that means your SDP or session discovery protocol message or early offer was made at the same time the invite was sent 
whereas on a delay offer the invite was sent without any offer so that's called delay that means you're going to wait until something uh, else takes place whereas an early offer where uh, this scenario MTP is check and the above scenario MTP is not check so how to explain this all you have to do is copy the first invite message on the deck text uh, zip text file and then say that the, uh, that in the invite message there oh, sorry I'm kind of spell today invite message there is no SDP content whereas if you look at the bottom uh, sc uh, scenario where uh, SDP was checked uh, MTP sorry MTP was checked in this scenario the there was content uh, there was actually the SDP content within the invite message so that's how would you know whether the message was early offer or delay offer alright so that will conclude our SIP troubleshooting